sharing a PowerPoint in an online meeting can be super boring for your audience because it fills up the whole screen and they can't look away. But if you can share your slides like this instead, it still gives you an opportunity to engage with them and have your presentation on the screen at the same time. In this video, you're going to learn how to recreate this scene for your next video conferencing session. Today, we're going to be using the OBS virtual camera. It's part of OBS Studio, which is a free and open source video production studio. There's a link to it in the description below this video. And if you want to jump between the different chapters in the video, just use the chapter markings on the timeline. You're going to be able to use this setup with Zoom, with Teams, with Google Meet or any other application that uses a webcam. Let's jump into OBS Studio now and I'm going to show you step by step how to create this scene inside of OBS Studio. When you start OBS Studio, you will just have this black canvas. Let's add a camera in the sources section. I'm going to click on the plus button and then on video capture device. On this dialog box, I can name it, but I can also just click OK. And I will get a list of all the cameras that I have here in this section. My camera is called the EOS Webcam Utility. So when I press OK, it's going to be added to my scene. I want to make sure that it fills the whole screen initially like that. And then for the next section, I want to move it to the right because we want to have me a little bit to the right here. So you can also see that it snaps into position when it uh, fills the whole vertical space here. So let's place the camera approximately there. For the next step, I'm going to add my PowerPoint slides. And in order to do this, I'm going to click on the plus button here in the sources section. And then I'm going to click on window capture. I already have PowerPoint running in my system. So I'm going to get a list of all the different windows that are open here. And I'm going to click on this PowerPoint window to add it to my scene. Of course, it's going to fill up the whole screen here, but I don't want it to be that big. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and just place it there and then put it somewhere near the middle. There we go. This is already a good start, but as you can see, PowerPoint is not in full screen. It's not running a slideshow at the moment. The problem with using PowerPoint, we're going to solve this problem, but the problem is that if I now press on slideshow or press F5 on my keyboard, it's going to fill up my whole screen and then it's going to cover OBS and Zoom and whatever application I'm using. But there is an easy solution to this. In PowerPoint, there is an option to change the way that your slideshow works. If you go into your slideshow menu, there is a button called setup slideshow and if you press that button you have different choices that you can make for how that slideshow is going to be shown the default one is that the show is going to be presented by a speaker full screen but the second choice here on my screen is that it's going to be browsed by an individual in a window so i'm going to change the setting to browse by an individual in a window and click ok now when i start the slideshow here in powerpoint it actually is going to give me the slideshow inside of this window, which also means that it looks better in OBS. There are some controls here at the bottom right corner of the screen and some space here at the top left. If I want to cut out those parts, I can hold down the Alt key and then drag these handles. So I'm going to just do that to take away the black space over there and the same thing up top. So now our PowerPoint slide actually fills that whole box. This is already a pretty good start. Let's also add the background that we were looking at before. I'm going to go into the sources section, click on plus, and it's just a color background. So I'm going to click on color source. Once again, click OK here, and I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to pick this martini olive color from my presets over here. Once again, click OK, and now it's going to fill up the whole screen, but I can move this around. So the way I'm going to have it is that it covers a bit of the camera, uh, and but it should also be behind the slideshow. So to get that color source behind the, the slideshow, I'm going to click it there and then just click down arrow. Now we have our background with slides on top, and then we have the camera to the Right. I'm going to just adjust the camera a little bit, pull it a little bit to the side so that we have a little bit of space. 
this setup is looking pretty good. So let's bring that over to Zoom with the help of the virtual camera. All I have to do in OBS Studio is click on this button here, Start Virtual Camera. And in the next section, we can look at how do we select that in Zoom as our input source. Now let's pick the OBS virtual camera as our camera source in Zoom. I'm going to click on the Zoom settings here on the top right corner and then go to video. And I will have a list of my different cameras right here. The OBS virtual camera is already selected. So you can see that everything we created is coming through. I do have one tip for you, and that is to disable this setting here, the mirror my video setting. This is pretty good if you're just using a webcam and because you're probably not going to have text on there. But if I enable the mirror my video here, the text is going to be the wrong way from my perspective. So I think it's better to have it off. This setting only impacts what you see. It does not impact what the other parties see. So the text will be the correct way for everybody, regardless of how you set that up. But I recommend disabling mirror my video. Just makes it easier for you. Hit like if you're getting value. As you saw, we built up that scene very quickly with just a couple of different elements. One adjustment that I like to make is that I like to move this window capture here a little bit to the right. So I'm going to just click it and then press the right arrow key on my keyboard. And it's going to move it just a couple of pixels so that some of the background is shown here behind that window capture. I certainly encourage you to experiment with OBS Studio because there's so many different things that you can do. Let me actually show you my current video conferencing setup. I'm going to go into the scene collection here at the top of OBS Studio, and I'm going to show you my scene collection. This is my standard video conferencing setup. And what I like to do is I like to move around the camera and the slides, maybe take away the camera completely or switch over to a webcam only view. And then I can bring back my slides as well. And I think transitions like these make it really easy for your audience to be entertained and engaged because something is happening on the screen. You're not just using a static slide deck all the time. If you would like to copy my setup for OBS Studio, I made it available as a digital download. Use the link in the description below this video or go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS. If you want to control your slides, next slide, previous slide, you have to switch over to PowerPoint and then you can control your slides from there. The method that I actually prefer to share slides is the native image slideshow. And that allows me to control the slides with keyboard commands, and I don't have to have the slides in front of me. If you want to find my full workshop on how to do that, click the link here above me. Everything I've been talking about is linked in the description below this video. There you can download OBS Studio, and you can also buy my scene collection for video conferencing via OBS. If you want more tips on how to be amazing at video conferencing, click or tap the screen right here for my full playlist with video conferencing tips. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.